Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Virgo their weekly love read. Virgo, this is for the week of the 15th through the 21st. Um, we're going to do you, them, and the connection. So you, what's going on with you, them, could be um, who you're thinking about, who you're with, who you want to be with, or someone you don't even know yet. And then the connection between the two of you. Um, these are general reads, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like these are not resonating, you can check your moon and your rising sign readings. Um, if you feel that you would like a personal read, you can check my website. Um, there's a link below in the description box that'll take you there. Or you can like, share, comment, and subscribe on any vi November video. Um, and that will... Put you in a drawing for a free love read with me. Okay, try it. Uh, thank you all for your support. I really do appreciate you coming to watch my channel. I don't know if I just told you because I no, I don't think I told you. We're um we're gonna get an Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card, a Hidden Truth Oracle card from All Things Intuitive, and a Moonology card from Yasmin Boland. Um, and I'm also clarifying with the Rider Tarot deck today instead of the Gilded Tarot. All right, guys, let's see what we got for your connection with Virgo's love connection. Mm, those all decide to fly out. Hmm. So Virgo, we have the Eight of Wands, which is rapid, rapid forward movement. So I think in your situation, um, maybe things have been moving very slowly. Maybe things have not been going exactly how you want them to, but I think there's going to be um, a rapid shift forward movement into some situation. Um, something's going to start moving quickly. All right. For you, Virgo, we have you showing up in your power here, the Queen of Pentacles. So um, gender is not specific in tarot. So the Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign. Um, it's somebody who is stable, who is grounded, who is loyal, who is committed who is hardworking, who's a provider, um, who's a caretaker. It's a very solid energy, great person to be in a relationship with. Um, I see that you have a choice here. Um, uh, well, sorry, let me take that back. I see that uh, the chariot is also rapid forward movement, right? So I feel like you're ready to make a choice and move forward. Um, you're ready to rush towards what you want. Um, and you have potentially two choices with the light horse and the dark horse here. Um, but you are showing up as a very stable person. Um, this is um, stability, marriage. Uh, I feel like, you know, this card is a twin flame card. So potentially this could be a twin flame connection. Um, and if you don't know about twin flames, you can check them out. But they're often very bumpy roads and not like, you know, great happily ever after it might end up happily ever after but there's a lot of bumps in the road to get there right so um i see you showing up as this really solid stable person you're going to make some rapid movement forward um potentially to like a marriage situation with a twin flame your person um i think they're going through something uh, here i feel like we have the seven of cups, the nine of swords, and the hangman. So I feel like um, the seven of cups can sometimes represent a lot of options um, or a wish fulfillment. But with the cards that are showing up along with it, it could also be confusion. So I feel like your person is kind of feeling confused. Um, they're staying up in their bed, potentially crying at night, really saddened about a situation. They're undergoing like anxiety and stress. Um uh, but they will be getting to the point to the, well, they will start being kind of surrendering to what is um, healing. It's like um, letting go, kind of surrendering to the pause. So they're not necessarily making any forward movements themselves. They're kind of confused, feeling anxious and sad, and they're starting to heal. They're going to just let whatever be be, um, and they're not going to necessarily do anything with that situation, right? Because they're, they're surrendering to the pause, surrendering to what is and allowing things to just kind of unfold the way it's going to unfold. Um, the connection looks decent. looks really good, actually. Um, so we have the Fool card, the Knight, of, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. I didn't want all those cards to come out, but they all wanted to come out, so that's what you get. 
Um, so the Fool card is also kind of taking a, a forward leap, being optimistic and jumping into something um, that you might not be sure of what's going to happen. Uh, we also have the Knight of Swords, which is taking action and running forward, right? So like being optimistic and taking a leap, forward action that's quick. Um, the, the Knight of Swords is very intelligent and has a great sense of humor. So I feel like this situation will be one where there's great communication and good good humor. Um, the Three of Cups is, um, to me in this deck, it's like a card of celebration, right? Like wedding receptions, weddings, engagements, proposals, a, a very, um, a love and a friendship. So it's not just like a love, it's a very solid relationship where there's friendship and love. Um, and it's going to be one with equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles being here. So whatever you put in, you're going to get out. And whatever they put in, they're going to get out. And then the last card, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. I'm so tired. Um, Is the Two of Cups, which is a true love, union, soulmate connection. So I think, you know, we have Twin Flame and soulmate connection. We have um, equal give and take potential wedding, engagement, party. We have lots of rushing forward, right? We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Eight of Wands all rushing forward and someone being optimistic and taking a leap of faith, um, which I think is you because I see your person kind of stuck. But um, maybe they'll be the optimistic one and take a leap of faith. I don't know. Or you'll both do it together. I don't know. All right, we're going to get an Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card. For Virgo. Lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yeah, so this is usually like the Tower card, but I feel like... Um, like this is going to prompt... Something's going to happen and prompt that forward movement. And then underneath that's a palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So, all right, let's get a hidden truth oracle from All Things Intuitive for Virgo. I'm afraid to contact you. So either this is your person to you, I'm afraid to contact you, or you to your person. Um, someone's afraid to reach out to the other person. All right, we are going to get a Moonology Oracle card from Yasmin Boland to finish off the reading. I am so sorry. Oh, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Um, it's time to take action. New Moon in Aries. Yeah, so I feel like definitely some action is going to be taken, huh, Virgo? Um, I hope this resonates with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate all your support, guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.